Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, November 6th, 2023, let's get into it. First thing I wanted to point out is, uh, you know, we have lost the ancient skills, the ancient skills of foraging for our own food. You know, and one of the things I've been kind of, you know, there's only so much time you have in life. And so I've been kind of looking into when I'm out in the forest, you know, what berries can you eat? What can you find? And guess what? Oranges. There were oranges lying all over the forest at this time of the year here in Florida. Look at this. Whole bag. <laughs> I mean, I would have eaten oranges. And by the way, these oranges don't taste like the store-bought uh, store oranges, I'll tell you that. So maybe, uh, you know, spend a little bit of time uh, on different uh, old forgotten skills that you need to know, like how to can lard, which is, well, can bacon grease, which is what I've done in my, my fridge, uh, or how to uh, take your peppers and store them or freeze them. You know, so everything that I'm doing, I'm trying to prepare for what uh, what is coming because we are here heading uh, for major calamity here in the United States. Uh, and in that regard, I mean, you also have to take care of your technological needs. I was uh, I was on Google Five, and uh, yeah, I sell out to the enemy. I'm sorry, you know, I'd, I'd like to go with Patriot Mobile or some other service, but. Google Fi has these wonderful deals where they offer uh, like the Samsung Galaxy S23 at $600 off. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I don't even need it. This is the Samsung Galaxy S22. And, uh, and I was like, well, I don't really want a new phone. I don't really give shit about a new phone. But I have two of these because I lost one, and then I got the old, the, the one that I lost back. I, yeah, I told that story in previous videos, and so I got two of these uh, S22 phones, and then I can trade it in. Now, if I went to eBay, I'm sure that I could get more money for the S22 than I can just trading it in, because they're going to give me a $250 trade in. But think about it: I'm getting 256 gigabytes of memory on a Samsung Galaxy S23, which is not that much better than an S22, and that's why I didn't buy it. You know, when it came out, it was, what, uh, $1,300, then it was $1,100, you know. I'm getting it for $550 <laughs> with $250 trade-in. I mean, I'm basically picking up the phone for, what, $250? I mean, well, $300. What the hell? I mean, so, I don't know. Uh, you do what you want to do. And, and a lot of people don't want to do it because it's a pain, man. As soon as I get that new phone, i got to transfer all my contacts, all my information. But, you know, one of the things I make an effort to do is I don't keep much of my information on the phone. I keep it on my computers. So, yeah, you know, I understand. We're all busy. You might not want to do that. All right, let's get into the news for just one second. But I wanted to get the, the stuff that might benefit you out of the way first. Uh, so Russia right now is striking Kiev with a massive number of um, uh, drone strikes. Uh, well, like, here, let's just bring up the, uh, the tweet. Um, uh, Danny, Danny Taggart, uh, she's on here. Russian armed forces, well, this is a different tweet, have penetrated the Andivka industrial zone and the Ukrainian armed forces are retreating. Military correspondent Shladov confirms this information, noting that this was the site of the strongest enemy defense along the front line. German Zelensky will demand compensation from Poland through the account of a blockade of import and export goods because friends don't do that. Uh, this is what, well, and this is what Gaza look, good God, I definitely go on there and find out what Gaza looks like. They've, the, 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 the Israelis have just obliterated it. It's just a freaking rubble pile. So let's get back to my uh, my notes. Uh, I was just trying to go through a couple of uh, X. So uh, Russia's striking Kiev. And I think that the reason that they're doing that is that they, they want to bring the war to an end. Um, you know, Ukraine is sending women and old men to the front lines. Uh, their war of attrition has achieved its goal. I mean, they've basically killed all of the young men in, in Ukraine that were... Uh, that could be thrown into the battle. 
Uh, and so now I guess Russia's just saying, you know, we don't want to kill the women in Ukraine. Let's just let's just end this thing. And 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 end, well, they, and also the other thing was they ended the NATO threat uh, because they didn't see this as a war with Ukraine because Ukraine was just a proxy. They saw this as a war with NATO because we threw all of our hardware, all of our hardware into Ukraine because we had all of these. God dang it! I. I this is a terrible thing to say, but stupid Ukrainians that wanted to die for NATO, and uh, and they did, unfortunately, and and I feel horrible about that, and you should too. Uh, but anyway, so so now uh, I think that Russia is going to start. Well, they're moving much more rapidly in Andivka, as you saw, and so I think that they're going to bring this war to a conclusion a lot quicker than they have. Uh, I think the war of attrition is kind of coming to an end. And we're seeing that the, the Ukrainians just don't have the artillery available. I mean, they, they, their guns are, are, have been destroyed. The, the guns they have, the barrels have been worn out. Uh, this, they don't have the ammo anymore because the West can't provide it. Uh, Russia's basically defeated three NATO armies, and uh, now they're working on the fourth. Uh, Ukrainians are surrendering in massive, num massive numbers. So uh, the Ukraine front lines are crumbling, and uh, and what what's going to be interesting is I wonder how the West is going to spin this in the news because most of the American people are just gullible fools that you know don't have a clue <laughs> of what goes on in the in the world, and they don't know how the blowback is going to come back to haunt them here in the United States. You know our banking system is crumbling, our our, our entire financial. I mean. Basically, we, we don't make anything anymore. We don't have any industry. We are just this colossal, uh, false, gross domestic product machine that, that, that is just all printed money, fiat money. You know, it's, it's, it's not based on anything real. And so I don't know, man. I, I, I just I think that we're heading for some hard times, hard times. So, uh, yeah, we already went on trees beside the house and foraging for food. I, you know, and then there was another video that I found very interesting. Um, it seems like we can kind of talk about these things on YouTube. If this gets taken down by YouTube again, that's fine. I'm, I'm on X now, and I'm on The Burn, The Burn on Rumble, The Burn on Rumble. Uh, but, uh, and so, uh, you know, and, and one of the guys pointed out, he says... He says, even back in 2020, he says, I would see people, and I saw this too. How many times did you see it? People would drive along in their car, and they'd have a mask on. <laughs> I would just laugh my ass off. I mean, what do you think? The, the, the virus was going to blow in through your closed windows in your car? And, 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 and it was mostly all Democrats. I'm sure they're all Democrats. And, uh, or you'd see people outside walking down the street with the mask on. And, uh, and so there was, a, um, there was a study. John Hopkins uh, just put out a, a, a new study that masks reduced the infection rate by two-tenths of one percent. And that Sweden, who never required masks and never had lockdowns, had the lowest death rate in all of Europe. So there you go. And I'm going to get into why that happened. Um, oh, yeah. And then, of course, there was another one, <laughs> another guy. He said he would see people out mowing the lawn with two masks on. I mean, what the hell? You're breathing all that dust and that bacteria and all that shit blowing up from the, from the grass. And, yeah, two masks is going to, I don't know. I guess it might help you in some kind of way. You never know. Uh, uh, I, so I, I just... I'm not saying you wear your mask. Put put a freaking body suit on. Wear a body condom, man. Whatever whatever floats your boat. Uh, I just anyway, it's uh, so where I think we're going, and uh, and what I think that people may try to understand. Okay, there there are serious uh, illnesses like the bubonic plague uh, way back in 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 the, in, in the day when it killed thousands and thousands of people, you're not going to stop it with masks or lockdowns. I mean, people are social creatures. They're going to interact. 
You know, you got the kid that's going to like sneak out the window and he's got the bubonic plague and he's going to go see his girlfriend at the next house. And then that house is infected. No matter what you do, no matter what plague, no matter what virus, it's going to spread and it's going to spread uncontrollably. And only God, only God with his, who has gifted us with an immune system can, you know, save the world. Yes. Millions of people might die, but that's just the way that illnesses are going to flow, go and flow. You're just not going to be, and of course, a vaccine. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I think that the vaccine might have had some benefit. Uh, it certainly didn't prevent the disease, uh, as we know, because people that got the vaccine still got the virus and they and the people that got the vaccine still spread the virus. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I think that you just got to depend on your own immune system. Take vitamin D, uh, keep yourself healthy, jog, get lots of exercise. That's the best way that you're going to deal with the next uh, pandemic as it comes out. And don't let the government shut down your freedom ever again. That's that's my advice. Um, so, uh, okay. Well, I guess that's about it for this video. Uh, I didn't have much else to talk about. Uh, I just thought that, you know, I just wanted to relate to you that, you know, never give up your freedom for fear. Never give up your freedom for fear. You know, we are going to get attacked by terrorists here in the United States. Uh, the, I'm sure that the Democrats, the totalitarian Democrats, are going to try to lock everybody down, try to, to take away uh, your freedom of speech. They're certainly going to try to take away uh, your guns. Uh, don't let it happen. Don't let it happen uh, because they're going to say, we need to do this to protect you, to protect you. No, protect yourself. Peace out. Stay free. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's going to cut you down. Sooner or later, God's going to cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician. Sooner or later, God's going to cut you down. Sooner or later, God's going to cut you down.